Hi, my name is Trish Becker and I serve OMF Southern Africa. I'm here with Nick Becker, who's the Executive Director of OMF Southern Africa, and I have some questions to ask him to help you learn a little bit more about OMF. So Nick. Yes, hi. Hi. Who are you and what is your role and where are you based? Okay, so my name is Nick Becker. Um, I'm based in Johannesburg and my role is uh, I'm the Executive Director of OMF Southern Africa. Uh, we work virtually, we have a virtual team. Our office is run from our home in, in Blegari in Johannesburg. And I think that answers all your questions. Yes, it does. But can you tell us who else serves OMF Southern Africa? Yeah. So as I said, we are a virtual team um, and we work with volunteers. So we're a team of volunteers. So Trish Becker is our personnel manager. She is our candidate coordinator and our Serve Asia, which is our short term coordinator. We then also have uh, volunteers who help us with the finance manager role. Uh, we have mobilizers. Uh, we have a medical advisor and we have a number of people who are part of our team volunteering and helping us virtually. So Nick, have you actually spent any time on the mission field? And if so, tell us where and when and how. Yeah, well, Trish and I, we uh, spent nine years on the mission field in Thailand. We were church planters in Thailand. Um, after those nine years, we were asked to deputize as leaders at our headquarters in Singapore. So we spent three years in Singapore and then we returned to South Africa at the end of 2014 to re-establish OMF Southern Africa. So yes, 12 years on the mission field in total and another five years now uh, here in South Africa working for the mission agency. So can, I, can you tell us why you left Asia to come back to South Africa? Um, our work in Asia was, was on the ground, was at the coalface. Uh, we ran an outreach center, uh, presented the gospel, found various ways to, to connect with the community and in the community and to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Um, with our move to Singapore, the, the view was zoomed out. It was more of a macro um, view of, of missions, getting involved in a leadership level of, of, of mobilizing and, and helping. And then when the opportunity came for us to come back to South Africa, we saw it as an opportunity to be part of the mission in the, in the sense of helping to mobilize, getting the workers out there. So once again, it is more of a, of a, of a broader view of missions as opposed to being on the coal face. But, you know, the, the Bible tells us in so many places, you know, the, the fields are ripe until the harvest. And, and if people aren't sent to go, they won't go. And so our role is, is very much uh, uh, that in, in mobilizing people, getting them ready and helping them to get out. And, and we just felt that this is the stage where God has called us to in, in our mission missionary journey and our missions walk. What about the local needs in South Africa? Shouldn't you be focusing your efforts and, and missions work on, on the local needs in the local context? Why are you sending to Asia and, and why are Africans going to Asia? Mm, good question. Look, the reality is that there are needs in Africa for sure. Uh, and in South Africa. But the reality also is that South Africa is essentially a Christian country. There is a church on every corner. The gospel is freely available. And most people in South Africa come across the gospel in one way or another automatically without anybody actually having to do that. And the church is strong in South Africa. And so really it is the church's role to be reaching out locally uh, doing the work that needs to be done locally. But the scriptures are very, very clear that God has called us not just to Jerusalem, but to Judea, Samaria, and to the very ends of the earth. And that's the role that we play, is facilitating the movement to the ends of the earth. And God has called all people from all nations to take the gospel to all the nations. So it is absolutely appropriate that Africans take the gospel to Asia. So what would you say to the person who says to you, how does any of this matter to me? I am just an ordinary Christian living an ordinary life. How is it relevant in my life? Mm. Well, you know, the reality is, even though God has specifically called some people and set them aside to be missionaries, um, that doesn't mean that everybody else who isn't called to be a cross-cultural missionary can't be or should not be involved. In fact, the whole church is responsible for missions. And as such, every single person who calls themselves a Christian and who is part of the local church needs to be involved in cross-cultural missions in some way or other. And that's really what we try to do is try to help people to find that niche or that role that they have uniquely to be involved in missions 
even if they aren't specifically going themselves. There are other ways to be involved. So how, how do I get involved? Um, I'm not sure that I'm called to go to Asia, but how could I get involved? Well, we have in OMF, we have what we call the six ways. So you can get involved by physically going if God has called you. And that's part of our role and job is to help discern that calling. Has God really called you and where is God calling you to? And we, we will journey with you to help that. We will more importantly journey with your church to help them to ascertain or to determine that this is your calling. So the first one is to actually go. The other one is to pray. Every single person in every single church can be praying for missionaries and for mission and for God's word to go out to the unreached. Uh, mobilizing, uh, getting other people involved in praying or going. Sending, that means helping people to actually go, providing um, material and physical needs for those who need to go, providing support, providing um, physical help for those who are going. Uh, then there is um, welcoming, welcoming people from other countries. God is, is bringing the mission field to us um, and every single one of us can be involved in reaching those who have never heard about Jesus by reaching out to the aliens and strangers and foreigners in our midst, so welcoming them in. And then um, the sixth way is to learn. Every single one of us can learn about the needs, different religions, what God is doing among the Muslims, among the Buddhists, among the Hindus. Um, and so we should never stop learning. And so in those six ways, every single one of us, including you, Trish, can be involved in cross-cultural missions. So to the person who says, I do think God is calling me to missions and, and actually to go, to, to go to Asia. Um, but I, I don't know how or when or where. I don't know which people group. Could you help? Absolutely. So that's really, as I said, that's what we exist to do. Uh, the very important thing uh, to note is that we only work with churches. So, you know, you, this shouldn't be news to your church that you feel that you're called to missions because our journey with you will be very much a journey with your church. And uh, we will help your church to identify that calling. Obviously, it will be with you as well, but in conjunction with your church leadership. Your calling, uh, who you're called to go, where you're called to go, and then we will help you to put all of that together. So it really is a journey, um, and we will work with you every step of the way in terms of the equipping that you need. Uh, if you need theological education, we'll point you in the right direction, depending on the country that, that God is calling you to. Uh, we'll help you, you know, with the, the basics of, of setting up uh, a sending cell, a group of people who support you as you go. We'll help you with the fundamentals of raising your support. Um, and so as an organization, we will step in with you and with your church and we'll work together in partnership to get you to the mission field to where God is calling you. And if you'd like to do that, um, what you need to do is get in touch with us. That's the first step. So send us an email, uh, give us a phone call. These details are coming up on the screen right now. Um, we are there to help. We are available. Uh, COVID-19 doesn't affect us because we can work and we are a virtual team. So we can do all of this online, no matter where you are in the country. The fact that we are based in Joburg is not an obstacle to us working with you, working with your church and getting you to where God is calling you. I've just got one last question for you. Is there anything else that you can offer or that you'd like to tell the people watching us today? Mm. So really, we exist um, as OMF Southern Africa. We exist to serve the local church uh, and to serve the church in the area of mission sending. So from that point of view, we are able to offer training to churches. We have a course called Taste of Missions. We can tailor that uh, to the church's specific needs and to the church's uh, time availability in terms of presenting this course. We can run it from, from over six weeks, once a, once a week, over six weeks to a couple of nights a week or run the whole thing on a Saturday. So we can really, we're very, very flexible in terms of that. And we can arrange a schedule for me to preach on missions in a church. Uh, we are available to help churches who, which are doing missions fests or, or missions expos. Uh, we have mobilizers that we can send down, even if it's in other parts of the country. Post lockdown, we have people available to, to be there. Um, we are able to share in, in community groups or, or cell groups, small groups. And um, yeah, so, you know, the, the, the sky is the limit in terms of what we, what we offer. Um, and, and I think really the thing is we are nimble enough to be able to, to um, meet the needs, the various needs of, of churches. And, and one other thing, you know, in terms of what we do offer, if you are watching this and you have an interest in missions, you feel maybe God is calling you, 
really we'd, we'd encourage you to go to our website and register. The details are up on the screen now. Um, if you go into that opportunities page, you will see the various opportunities open throughout East Asia where OMF is serving. So if it's a teaching slot, if it's helping with water management in the Philippines, um, teaching English in, in China, whatever it may be, there are various opportunities. Um, so that might be a, a good place to start. If you start looking at that, God might prompt your heart in terms of an opportunity that is available. Uh, once you register on our website and we can start that journey with you. And it is a long journey, um, but the the... Uh, the longest journey starts with one single step and going onto our website and registering may be that first step in your journey to where God is calling you in his mission. So thank you for listening. Thank you to Nick for answering those questions. He did a great job. Thank you. And we do hope that you will visit our website and that we will begin a journey with you.